Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to study how to read data from JSON file and display the same to the UI with the help of WPF and MVM pattern. See, uh, before starting, you must know the what is the MVVM pattern. See, in that, M means model. It simply holds the data and has nothing to do with any of the business logic. It have the entities. Now properties, all properties will be defined into an module. Now view model, it acts as a bridge or the connection in between the model and the view. And view itself a UI representation. So now for that purpose, in a MVM pattern, we create here folder as a model, then view model and view is here. So now our motto is to read the JSON file. So that's why I create one more folder here that is the source data file in that I save the JSON file. So let us see the data what contained in that file. So these are the properties, first name, last name, gender, age and mobile number. Yeah. Likewise thus three are. So now we read this data into a your list before that you need to define properties which map to this one to one so that in a module by right click add here class we add a class as we already added it now name as a person model see in that I define the properties like a private first name get set then last name what the property contained in the json array and how many properties you want to read from that file you need to define first here is it clear if you are going to perform more operations then you need to do here notify property change handler see in a view i create one class name is notify property change handler you can name it as as per your requirement now in that I just handle the property change event I write here property change event notify property change as the name is notify property change and just inherit this class into a model class that is the person model see notify property change handler now I call this notify property change the first name last name gender now for the current application we are we not required this property change handler but for the next operation right now we are going to only read data just reading data in a one way reading from json file and write to the ui so no need to use this but while expanding this operation our next video coming is to write how to write data into a json file in that case we need to use it so i use here notify property change now this is your model contain all properties which you are going to access from the JSON file. This is your JSON data. Now operations perform the operations. So this is the simplest one. I just write access the model class into a view model. This is the your view model. Now define the list get set property. Why? Because once we go for the next operation for writing, updating, then we need to go for this property change event. Right now I am not using here property change. So in a constructor of person view model, I just call one method because we are not going to write here any command or any command handler. I just directly call the method and in that method we just provide the string json here read the data from this people.json file here is this file people.json file now it will read all the file as it is from the json to the string json string name as a json now we deserialize we deserialize this file into an serialize sorry deserialize serialization, serialization to the deserialization so that we can save it into an list format by passing the object or the class of the 
person model. So this is the thing. Items JSON convert dot deserialization object dot here the list then person model and we are passing here the JSON that is the your JSON file read it data into and this JSON string then it will deserialize this data by using the JSON converter we need uh, when we are going to use this JSON converter we need to add one nugget called as a Newton's dot soft so here just right click manage nuggets wait for see here Newton soft if you are not found then type it as a or if you don't know the name you forgot to name then directly you type here json then it will show the all json dependent nuggets now here is the newton soft dot json it's a freeware so that's why i, I use here now this is the final this item list contain the all content of your json file now we need to bind this content to the main model to your view model view is here so here first i bind this view model to the view by using this xmls then here i provide one object is equals to the namespace and your view model now define windows dot resource so this is the vm so vm person view model and the key value pair here is the view model like a dictionary now bind this as a data context we can write this data context to beyond the code also in a main window but i bind here bind sorry binding source is equals to static resource view model let's provide this key to here now define one row here i define two rows because uh, i am going to extend some application for the next video now here the data grid i name it as a data grid uh, user data grid then we'll place this data grid into a first row then auto generation column is the false then item source what we are going to bind you must provide here now to data grid i'm going to bind the items here are the items uh, item contain all the json data that's why i'm going to bind this item to the data grid item to the data grid and then define the data grid columns here the first column contain the first name here is the header name next one is the binding see binding first name header name last name see binding last name then gender gender age age here is age then number and number and end of your columns clear then end the data grid and grid in the window now in this way we have done the application now click build and run So this is the data first name last name then here is the gender age and the number now see i'm opening in a background so this is the first name then last name male then age is 28 here is the number now for the second person now for the third person is it clear in this way we can do the binding with the json and you can display the same thing on a ui with the help of this nugget clear the nugget name is newton soft dot json you can easily find it in a nugget management studio okay thank you guys now the next video i'm going to continue with this clear now wait for the next thank you